Hey guys, good morning. My name is Rebecca, aka Being Bodega Cat. Today we're finally shooting at Modern Love. Oof, this place has been on my list for maybe over two years, and I haven't shot there for a few reasons. The first reason is it's like an indoor nighttime place, so th those kind of places just don't usually have the best audio or best lighting. And the second place is it was a little bit more expensive, kind of out of my price range. I usually keep my price, my budget for these videos at around $35, just because that's about how much I make from the video. I'm pretty open with you guys, and at least I break even when I shoot. But fortunately, one of my patrons sent me over some money so I could finally shoot at this place. Also, they have outdoor dining now, so now we have outdoor lighting so I guess I want to say shout out to Boutique Girl Boutique Girl I don't know how to pronounce your username I'm so sorry uh, this video is all due to you I could have not have done it without you so um let's just get going okay so my camera just like it basically just told me that my memory card was full and I didn't have a lot on my camera so I don't understand what exactly happened I went through and I deleted a lot of things I did have but I'm gonna be taking a lot of video so if by some chance like my memory card is like broken or something I'm I might have to like wrap up the video mid video and then go home and finish I'm not quite sure but uh this is just a heads up in case something goes wrong <laughs> all right here it is and here is the seating table setup that they have it seems that they don't have any table service but you just like order your food and you can sit down so let me find a menu and we can get ourselves started so basically I ordered at that little window right there the menu right here isn't updated so I actually just looked at the menu online they have the updated menu on their website so you can check that out if you want and then I'm gonna sit my ass down right here and wait for the food okay I'm gonna tell you what I got uh, if I can remember I got a lot okay so I was torn between the fried mozzarella and the nachos because you guys know I love nachos but fried mozzarella that was super interesting I ended up going with nachos embarrassingly for aesthetic reasons um, and then for my entree, I got the jerk tofu bowl just because it feels like something that I would get on a regular day And it's gluten-free just so you know and then I got a seitan buffalo mac and cheese a Side of mashed potatoes and gravy. It's cauliflower mashed potatoes. Does that mean it's only cauliflower or it's like a mix of cauliflower and potatoes? I don't know and then for dessert. I have a pumpkin cheesecake. Oh and for a drink I have house lemonade so like we're eating very well today. It's it's like, this is gonna be amazing. Again, thank, thankfully to my patron, this is gonna be amazing. Oh. The one downside to the outdoor seating though is that everything is gonna be in like to-go containers. It's not gonna have the usual, you know, modern love aesthetic, but whatever. Another random note, I just messaged the patron who funded this Is It Hype, and her name is Stacy. so a lot easier to say. Thank you, Stacy. Okay, slight change of of scenery there is construction going on so I'm gonna apologize for that but I do feel quite excessive with this giant bag that was just given to me it's, this is quite a big bit of food I should probably just open this up and show it to you guys afterwards <gasps> that looks delicious listen when I realized that this was gonna be in to-go containers I expected the food to be ugly but why is it so damn beautiful though um this is the mac and cheese with the seitan this is the jerk bowl like the colors i don't know if you guys are seeing the colors as bright as i am but they are beautiful here are the nachos this is the mashed cauliflower and potatoes with gravy and this is the pumpkin cheesecake like what oh and this is the butterfly pea lemonade I i'm I'm floored. Who makes food look this good in to-go containers? I have no idea. Okay, so here are the nachos. We're gonna start with these. I see some uh, guacamole, some salsa. We have some ground walnut meat, sort of like chorizo type stuff. And of course, a little bit of cheese sauce right here. I'm gonna try to like scoop some other stuff and get to reviewing. Mmm, that is very good the tortillas are so crunchy the nachos are so crunchy like the chips got a, a pickled jalapeno too definitely worth the humidity and filming with a pimple on okay I have to say something though like I think the placement of this pimple is a little cute is that narcissistic to say like I don't hate this pimple like if it was a mole people would be like oh my god that's so cute <laughs> Jalapeno is a little spicy. 
Rating 9 out of 10. Delicious. Off to an amazing start. An amazing appetizer. Next up, mac and cheese. Yo, it looks so good. It looks like too photogenic. Like, why? I love trying mac and cheese because it's either good or, or really bad. We're gonna try like just the mac and cheese by itself at first. Mm. It's very mild. It's not cheesy. It's like vegetable-y. It's good, but the sauce is more like watery than creamy. Now, the buffalo seitan. That noise. What are you building over there? Super dense, Satan. Now we're about to try them together. Wow, okay. This bite's a little much. It's a little much, Rebecca. Final thoughts on the, on the mac and cheese. So it's like, it's not mac and cheese, really. It's not. It's like slightly creamy pasta with like super dense, like spicy buffalo seitan. Altogether, pretty good. Seven out of 10. It's good. I would much rather get the nachos as an appetizer though. I should have given like a tryptomania, trypto something, tryptophobia warning before showing you guys these mashed cauliflower because uh, they got that little, little tiny holes thing that a lot of people hate. So my bad, but this is cauliflower mashed potatoes with porcini mushrooms and chives. And it's delicious. Super creamy. I don't even taste the cauliflower. Nine out of 10. So good. Now we have what is technically our main. We have some jerk tofu, some rice. This is like some sort of slaw and plantains. Don't kill me, I'm not a fan of plantains. I don't like sweet things like that, but I will try them with an open mat. Let's do this rice first. That is good. And now the slaw. I don't know what's in this slaw. Is there fruit in this slaw? Is this pineapple? Okay. All right, while fruit, while fruit in savory food is not usually my jam, I'll admit that it's done really well. And now for the main event. Super coconutty. Oh, and a little bit spicy too. That's pretty good. Eight out of 10 so far. Let's try this. It's done well, but I don't like plantains. I'm gonna try to eat it with the rice. Oopsies. Hey guys, for the first time ever, I'm being forced to finish my video on my iPhone. I think there there is like some big issues with my memory card right now. It's saying that it's full when I know that it's not. Um, so I really hope you are okay with this like change of angle slash I'm sure video quality. Right before my memory card gave up on me, I was eating this and I rated it a nine out of 10. Thankfully, we're really almost done. I'm gonna take a sip of my butterfly tea lemonade, which I'm sure will be delicious. A bite, a sip. Delicious. 10 out of 10. It's like florally lemonade. Woo. I am getting a little bit like full though. Okay, but very, 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 very obviously not least. This angle on my nose, I'm looking hella Arab, I swear. Okay. We have pumpkin cheesecake. Could you see the cheesecake? Whatever, it's cheesecake. The topping is very crunchy and amazing. Right here. The filling is obviously cashew-y. Like you taste the cashew, but it is good. Eight out of 10. All in all, I think my favorite thing is the nachos. And people who like sweet things would also really like the jerk bowl. Here, jerk. I'm gonna clean this up and then Maybe shoot in a little quiet corner with my iPhone. All right, I'm incredibly full. Uh, <laughs> not drunk, just full. And let's wrap this up. 
in general, like Modern Love is a little bit more of a pricier restaurant, but they do make everything in house. So it's more of like a date night vibe, you know what I mean? Um, the food was generally really good. The nachos were my favorite. The cheesecake was really good. I kind of want to go back and try a different entree that's not sweet so I can get like a better kind of, I don't know, feel for an entree that's more my like taste buds. But in general, I would say Modern Love is hype. And Roberto's gonna be so happy to get all of these leftovers because I am absolutely stuffed. What else is there to say? I think that's everything. Yep, that's all there is to say. Hope you don't mind the iPhone blend of video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to say subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all here for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Janine, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, Vanessa, and Nakia. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.